Hello and welcome to the Learning Center. In this short video, we are going to look at using the library search tool OneSearch and then we're going to discuss reading articles. To access the search tool from the JCU homepage, click on Library and go to the OneSearch search window. Let's use the example that we started with of artificial intelligence and automated cars. I can see from my library search that there are over 1 million results in artificial intelligence. So I'm going to need to narrow my research and I can do that by using the search term and and then typing in vehicles. You can see that my search results have narrowed to about 160,000 results. I'm going to try and narrow it further with my last term accidents and I can see that my results have dropped down to around about 59,000 and I've got some interesting results here that will relate to my research question. On the left hand side you can see the content type. You can see that there's 49,000 books or ebooks related to this subject and 4,000 journal articles and now I have my 4,000 results. This is narrow enough for me to start looking in more depth at these articles and finding something that might be related to my topic. So after I've found my research, I need to start reading. Choose a couple of the articles that you think are strong. Read them using the top and tail method. This means to read the introduction and conclusion first. We do this because it gives us a good overview of the article before we do an in-depth reading. If, after reading the introduction and conclusion, you realize the article doesn't match your research question, you can discard the article and research again. If they are related to your question, then you can read in more detail. We do this by reading all the headings in the article first, and then by reading just the first sentence of each paragraph, also known as the topic sentence. This is called scanning the article. After you have finished scanning, if you think the article is valuable to your research, you can then read the article in depth. You may also like to try the SQ3R method of reading. As you read in depth, make a mind map of the article or if you prefer, take notes. This will give you a quick reference to the article later when you review your research. Remember that as you participate in research, you may find that you need to modify your original question. After you have completed a wide survey of the research, you should decide if there is enough information to answer your research question. If your question is too narrow, you may have difficulty finding research. In this case, you will need to make your question broader in order to find information. Conversely, if your question is too broad, you may find too much research and you may need to make it a bit narrower. You should also ask yourself the following four questions. Is it still clear? Is it narrow enough? Is it too narrow? Is it complex enough or too complex? If necessary, you may need to modify your question. In this short video, we have covered the library search tool OneSearch and how to do a pre-reading of articles.